today's the um, seventh day in a row below zero which I guess for people that get snow is no big deal but when I say zero, zero degrees centigrade this morning I'm expecting the arrival of a young lady by the name of Bridget Bridget's 15 years old and she's coming to do some work experience here to learn to trim I believe she's very good in the pony club area so we're going to find out a bit more about her and hopefully do a video on I guess knowing nothing about barefoot trimming to being able to trim for herself How are you doing? Bridget and BB. Bridget has just watched me trim BB's two back feet. Yes, you can eat that. And now she's going to have her first play, we'll call it, <laughs> and see how she goes with her first attempt at beginning to learn barefoot. I think she's picked a foot up before. <laughs> First time she's used a loop knife though to clean out the frog. Is that a bit easier than a... Yes, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, now clean all that mud out around the hoof wall. Yeah, you can use the blade to do it, that's what it's there for. She's got a fair bit of hoof wall there, hasn't she? Yeah. Look at these gloves. Are... Lovely frogs. Lovely horse. <laughs> Lovely trimmer! Because <laughs> you know after this you go and get to sit in the shed by yourself for four hours, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm always scared like what not to cut off. Like, With the foot there? Yeah. Like. Ah, right. Well, when we, when we get to do, I, I guess you'd call it a cadaver hoof, you'll see. And that's, where, that's why I went and learned to trim because I knew you could trim but I didn't know how far I could go yeah. and that was the reason, yeah. There's no, you won't do any damage doing what you're doing now. Well, what would you do? What would you do now? Nippers? Do you want to have a go at nippers or not? Trim or take stuff off. You can always not take take it all and come back and take a bit more. If yep. you take too much, you can't put it back. Yeah. So just start. Yeah, just wherever you feel comfortable. I have no idea. There. Yeah. And then just literally squish. <laughs> ah. there? Yeah. Okay. You might want to take just a bit, bit, bit bigger bite. Put that outside one down just a bit. That's it. As you get from there, I guess forward. As you yeah, right yeah. up the top. That's it. Now you imagine the girls try and trim with 12-inch nippers. They're 15 inch those ones. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you want me to finish it, I will. Yeah. All right. I'll just do this side. Yeah. And as you get to the front there, that's when you start to put a little bit more angle on it to make that roll over there. All right? Oh my God. So then like that. Yeah. And I always tend to sort of leave more than take it so that I can either rip it off with the grinder or the rasp because you've got the rasp to go to see. And I'll, well, you might finish that you've one. done a marvellous job on that foot. It's bloody beautiful. All by myself. Yeah. <laughs> they can do the other one. Fucking hell. <laughs> That's simple, isn't it? There's a bit of, you can see there without too much effort, there's quite a bit to come off there. Yeah, yeah. So once again, we've got lovely frog and to clean it right out and hopefully it's still as lovely. Get away, dogs. And um, we've got the bars again. 
A lot of horses don't get the bars like that. The big Clydes, they intentionally let that bar grow and spread out over the sole. Is she leaning on you? Yeah. No, well, just, that's right, yeah. Yeah, so we've got a lot more hoof wall to come out this time. Yeah, this thing is hard to use. Big pardon? So this thing is hard to use. Is it? What would you prefer? Oh, it's just like, I'm just not used to it. Oh, like. that's right, yeah. Yeah. Do you want me to grab you the nippers? Um, yeah. So the other thing is if, if, if you clean all that mud out, it makes it so much easier it doesn't blunt your nippers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So don't be scared to turn your knife over and it's once again scrape with it away. Now hold it in your hand the other way, like this. See, like that? Yep. Like that, down. Now try that. And that's a lot easier to clean the hoof out like that too. See that? Yeah. Got a lot more strength in it that way. You do what's comfortable for you and the horse. Yeah. And I guess if it, the more comfortable you can make it for the horse, um, the more comfortable it ends up for you. It's not easy to get a shot of someone trimming like that. Oh, Keep very good. But the gloves are very important. You always want to make sure you've got gloves on. And if you think if you think you've taken a little bit too much on the next cut, don't take as much. You know what I mean? Oh, just right get it up above your knee, up above your the ball of your knee. She's being very tolerant, isn't she? Jeez. Nobody would know it was a mechanical horse. Oh. That's it. Keep going, keep walking up on her, that's it. Put your hip up against her, if you have to. Let her know you're there, that's the main thing, is to let them know you're working with them. You with me? Yep. If you, if you stand off, they're going to wonder why. Okay, now, just like that? Yes, that's it. And if you feel comfortable, just turn it over and just feel what it feels like, because it'll take a lot more off. So you're letting the rasp do the work, that's good. And as I said, you use the, the sole, the, the cleaned sole of the hoof as your gauge and follow that around with the rasp and the nippers. At the toe you can put on a little bit more angle. And one thing it helps is if you can become ambidextrous. What's that? That means you be able to use the rasp right hand and left hand. That's it. That's the way. Yep. Tis you're slow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, slow to pick things up. Not. <laughs> That's good. You're doing really good. Seeing you've had a whole what, two hours, well, one <laughs> one hours lessons in in the shed. So. That's it. And you might have to stick your knee behind her, her um, past the, or a fat lock there to stop it coming back. That's it. Okay. Just nice and gentle. That's it. Well done. So has this course been worth paying a thousand dollars for? <laughs> yes. How do you reckon, Don? How's she going? Hey? How's she going? What do you reckon? Scooby Doo? Yep, and there's nothing wrong with using that side of the rasp. A lot of people have called it a file, but it's not a file, it's a yep. rasp. Which pet, like, what would you use right now? Pardon? Would you use this? I'll be doing I'll be doing what you're doing. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're doing You're picking it up really well. 
and don't be scared to use the full stroke of the rasp that's it that's, that's cut your rasping in half now all I would do from there on oh, is I'd put a bit of roll on it and I'll show you the way you put a bit of roll on it is you get the rasp like this and as you come forward you roll it like that yeah right yeah, what you're doing is putting that roll on yeah all right because that's it and then all I do after you've finished that is pick a foot back up the other way and just check on it from the other side do I roll like all everywhere or just no I need it but I suppose it, I guess on her from uh, from here to here you, although I just take a little bit more off there too can you feel that there just a bit of a lip yeah take that off yeah So this is Bridget day one who's going to hit YouTube and we'll see how she is by the end of day three while I'm sitting in the armchair watching her trim the rest of my horses. <laughs> And I would go when you're finished there, just leave, keep a foot there, put your rasp on the magnet and just spin around and take her hoof back. That's it. That's the way. And then look at it from the... <laughs> you lost it. That's it. So how do we look? Do you want to give it another, just a bit of a rub on the toe there? Just a bit of a rub like that? Yeah. Just to make sure that that's off? Yeah. Go on. That's it. Yes. Nearly poked me in the camera then. <laughs> That's it. Just make sure we get it all off. Yeah. I'm too busy watching you and not the camera. <laughs> so I guess it helps when you've got a horse that'll stand like this because yeah. unfortunately they don't always stand like her. No, she's been very patient. Right? Yeah. And then you can just if you, if you want to you can just rub it around the edge and get rid of that. Like that? Yeah. Just to make it look... Oh, one thing we didn't do. What? Tell me what we haven't done. The heels. No? Oh, yeah, that as well. Mm. Do, do you remember how I told you to do the heel? Just give it a bit of a... The other way. That? Turn, yeah. And pull it back over the heel. And pull it back over the heel. From the toe. That's it. You, you get used to it after a while. <laughs> You're doing very well. Yeah. And the other one, I'll clean them up before we do because I've got to pull those bars off too, and yeah. I don't want you using the knife on that. So, mm, how would you do that? My legs are kind of in the way. <laughs> I'm just gonna... you get, well, it's like everything, I guess, it, when you get used to it after a while. That's it. So, you're picking up what to do anyway, and I'll just show you how to finish off. Yeah, right. You can put Booby back in her paddock if you like. And what's that knot you're undoing? By the way, bank rubbers. That's right. Whoops. Oh, you got the big fellas going to be on top of you. You stay back, mister. I'll get the gate for you. Back, big boy. Back, back, back. I know what you can smell. I know what you can smell. Now, I don't know if I've ever told you that, but if you bring a horse into a paddock like this, should turn it back towards the gate. She won't take off on you, but that big black bitch will. Yeah. Bridget likes the Shetland. Hey? Yeah. Eh? I better get your photo too, I suppose, eh? Bridget and the Shetland. Right.